Hi guys, this is a newbie tackling the Zeroli Corsair. This is episode 10, I think. And today what I'm trying to do is, is determine ex what, the, what the correct shape is uh, for the cockpit. And I've been kind of goofing around with this for the last week. And, um, and what I want to do here today is explain what I ended up doing and how I ended up uh, using my three views and measuring it all out on the fuselage. Uh, um, I'm not saying it's the right way to do because I, I don't know what the experts in this world do. Um, I did it this way and uh, y'all can make a decision about whether or not you want to do it this way or, or you got a better way, that's great. Um, these are my three views and uh, the nice thing about this particular set of three views is there's a datum line on them. Let's see if we can see it. Yeah. So there's a datum line that runs through the center of the of the propeller and it runs all the way back and exits right here. And so wrong way. One of the things I did, the first thing I did really, was uh, I drew that datum line here. And extend, that extends all the way back through uh, the back of my fuselage. And so in order to try and figure out how to, how to size my, my cockpit, um, the cockpit, the way it comes from, from Zeroli is uh, quite a bit smaller than it's supposed to be, which is good because it allows us to uh, open them up to whatever size we think is right. And um, so what I ended up doing here is you can see on the three views uh, you can see the trailing edge of the wing right here and I measured from the trailing edge of the wing up to the datum vertically and uh, parallel to this former and this former here. So this former goes straight up into the uh, through the cut line in the canopy and then this former goes straight up to the back edge of the clear glass on the canopy. And so a line projected straight up in parallel with those two formers and I measured this distance from the trailing edge to the datum line. And uh, these particular three views are 1 to 57 scale, uh, I guess because that seems like a normal number to the Japanese. And so the number I measured off the three view uh, any number I measure off the three view, I multiply that by 57. I then divide it by 5.3 something, which is the scale of the Zeroli uh, views. And I got a number that should be equivalent to measuring from here down to right here, which is the trailing edge of my wing. And that was, I'm going to say, within a couple of percent. And so I'm going to say, good, awesome. Uh, and then by measuring... Uh, this distance from the datum up to the bottom line of the of the canopy, uh, you know that number. Put it through the mathematic the mathematics. I get a number that uh, actually ends right here at this line. Um, I use black tape here to kind of show you the projected lines, which I just have dotted on my fuselage and pencil, and they're hard to see. So black lines are just here to help us see. On the real one, this black line equates to a, a former uh, that goes up through the cut line in the fuselage, and this goes up through the rear edge of the glass. There doesn't appear to be a former here, at least not on my three views. There probably is, I don't know, but not on my three views. Um, so I then measured like this distance from the, from the datum down to the wing, and did some math and this number looked uh, to be well within a couple of percent so I then measured from here up to here uh, and uh, and got a number and actually I went up to the bottom edge of the canopy 
And I got a number that actually says the bottom of the canopy should be right here. Uh, and then on that back former from the datum, it says the bottom of the canopy should be right here. Draw a line through those three points. And this is where uh, the bottom of the canopy should be. Um, now, that's not actually going to be my cut line. Uh, I need to obviously remove some material, but uh, that's where the top of my sliders need to be put. So the canopy is going to be on some kind of sliders that I haven't designed yet. And so uh, the top of this brass uh, square channel needs to end up where that line is. So my actual cut line will probably be about a quarter of an inch below the pencil line that's on here right now. And when, I'm all, when all is said and done, the size of the cockpit cutout should be correct. Now, one of the other things I did to kind of check that I've got things more or less square because um, this this part right here, um, this was cut out. The the stock Zeroli comes to about here, so I had to chop off all of this part. Um, all of this. This is actually where the stock Zeroli goes up and around for the front of the cockpit. So all of this had to be removed. Um, I had done some drawn some lines and thought I was being pretty careful, but just to make sure, uh, I measured from this edge up to the firewall and the same thing on the other side compare those numbers make sure they're square those look pretty good um, I also measured from this edge back to the tail cone and uh, from the far side um, back to the tail cone and those were off by about a sixteenth of an inch which is no big deal but I'll probably end up removing a little bit of material from the back side here um, the far side the right side of the fuselage uh, in order to square up uh, the the back part, the the where the arm where the armor plate goes here. So um, you know it's about measuring from as many different directions as you can, and hopefully they they all align. That's what I did. Like I said, I don't know what the experts do. Uh, I know they they build some beautiful airplanes. Um, and for those people out there that are just trying to get into scale for the first time, like I am, uh, and have a lot of questions about how people do things, well, there you go. This is how I did it. I'm not saying it's right, because uh, I don't know what other people do. It's simply the way I did it. Maybe that helps you. Maybe that helps you figure out a better way to do it. And then maybe you'll let us all know. Anyway, that's it for now. Later.